So many times I'm asked, what is now the difference between an access network and a core network? What is really different? And the best way that I can really describe that is by comparing it with a tree. Uh, a tree, you have a trunk. That's where it starts. Well, the trunk is basically the core network. Once it's, it's there, it doesn't change. And also in telecom, the network that has been built over the past 30 years, it's there, it may still grow, become thicker like the trunk of a tree, but it doesn't change. It's install and forget. And our product line that we developed in those days, the FOSC uh, product line, was really basically that you install it and you don't go back in. Then you come to the metro network in telecom. And the network, metro network, I compare with the main branches that are leaving the tree. That's where you're gonna see already maybe uh, a connection in the telecom world to real customers, the main customers. Or you're gonna see interconnections. But basically those main branches are reaching out to the further place, the customers. In that product line, or in that network, we used another product line. Fist. And why? Because you now and then go back in to make some key changes in that part of the network. And Fist was basically a way to do that without disturbing other customers or other uh, network providers. And then we come to the access network, the one that we're going to build in the next uh, centuries. That is where you're going to go to the leaves, and the leaves are the customers. And as you know, leaves are falling down in autumn. They come back in spring. You're gonna have twigs that are uh, coming on certain uh, sites. Some are dropping. Well, that is also an access network. Customers are changing. It's not a static world. And for that part of the network, that access network, we also gonna have to create those products that can cope with those changes.